Hi everyone, this is Morteza and you are watching one of my free videos about Visual Studio. So, uh, in one of my previous videos I talked about code analysis, which is a very practical feature in Visual Studio. It checks your code looking for potential problems or violations of guidelines uh, of uh, writing good code in Visual Studio. Uh, in that video, I said that uh, you can very easily go to properties of your project and then code analysis and by checking this checkbox you can you can enable code analysis on build and when you build your project your project and your code base is going to get scanned and any uh, anything weird about your project is going to be displayed and you can try to tackle them now there is another checkbox here uh, which is uh, suppress results from generated code managed only. What is this about? Let me tell you this very quickly and very uh, simply. You know when you create your project, for example your console application, there, there is some code uh, generated by Visual Studio by default. For example, in the case of this console application, I've got this code, it was generated by Visual Studio, or for example in a Windows form application, I've got this code generated by Visual Studio. By uh, checking this checkbox, by enabling this checkbox, you tell Visual Studio to ignore these uh, kinds of code and to not include them in your analysis process. So if you uncheck this, even the code that is generated by Visual Studio and by the templates of your projects, whether it is uh, a console app or a Windows form application, uh, the code is going to be a scan. But when you uh, check or enable this checkbox, this code is not going to be a scan because it is generated by Visual Studio. So this is the second part, if you will, of our uh, video about code analysis as a feature in Visual Studio. I really like this feature. There are, of course, some third-party tools uh, which uh, scan your code looking for potential problems but this built-in project this built-in I'm sorry this built-in feature in Visual Studio is really handy so I suggest uh, you you use it. it it is really helpful anyway thank you for watching this video you can of course subscribe to my YouTube channel for all of my videos and you can use my full courses at my website just Search for software development with Morteza. Thank you.